سيدنا وحبيبنا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى اله ومن تبعهم احسان الى الدين اما بعد First of all, I'd like to thank the Elementary community for you know, calling me here, the whole family. Um, I was here last year and I've been a spectator for like, since the first enemy team. Um, a lot of faces are very familiar and, you know, and I became close friends over the time. Um, so when Sohan reached out to me and asked me if I want to you know, come out and address you guys, it was for sure. I mean, this is like family to me. Muhammad, Quran, uh, Harun, and a lot of all the brothers that are here from our town, in town. But why well, I want you to know, take some time and speak about today. If you were to look at human beings, some of the things that we boast upon about ourselves is our power, our strength, our size. You, you are some you know, common things that we both want. That you know, I'm, I'm extremely strong, or you know, I'm pretty good looking, you know, I'm not I'm easy on the eyes, right? These are some things that human beings you know, usually boast about, or usually you know, to talk, tell one another you know, better than you. But if you look at these certain things, you see that other creations of the laws of God are actually better than us. Our strength. And you look at the strength of a horse, or a camel, or an elephant. What's such a shape? And even an ant that scientists in Poland actually figured out that a small ant was carrying a dead crow, which is something that's you know, 15,000 times its own weight. And you and I, you know, we can barely pull our own weight, or you know, a man that's 200, 300, 400 pounds, we can barely pull our own weight. But a small little ant is carrying something that's 15,000 times you know, heavier than itself. Then we look at our size. But the, the truth is, that there are other creations of the laws of Hanawadana that are way bigger than us. Stars and moons and mountains. No. Humongous. And our beauty, the looks that we have. Whenever someone in the boy talks about beauty, they have to, have to mention the moon. The moon and its beauty, how beautiful the moon is that is in a dark night it brings light as far as you can see. But why is it that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about you and I, he says, that I have created man better than the rest. The human being is Ashraf al Maqad, it is the most respected creature of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is it because of his strength? No. Because of his power, no. Is it because of his height, his, you know, his size, no. Is it because of his beauty, no. There are two things. Two things that is extremely unique about you and I that no other creature of Allah subhanahu wa no other creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can compare with us. One is against us, and the second one is for us. The one that is against us is that we have an enemy. And no, I'm not here at a basketball tournament telling you, you know, be worried to not, be scared to not. But this makes us extremely unique. That we have the enemy that no other creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has. You know, every morning, the shaitan doesn't go to the sun and you want don't shine today. Or the shaitan doesn't go to the moon, don't come out today. The shaitan doesn't go to the animals and they'll try to talk the animals out of what they do. But the one being that shaitan comes to and tries to Misguided is you and I. Now, if you look at Shaitan and how powerful and how great Shaitan is, let me give you an example. You know, someone that is good at something, let's say, uh, Farhan is good at basketball. Just, just as an example, you know, the trophies <laughs> for himself. But let's say Farhan is good at basketball. What would make him good at basketball is if he were to practice. The more practice that he would have, the better he would get. Anything, the more practice you have, the more you do something, the better you get. Shaitan is the one person that has the most experience in the whole of mankind. The most experience. I mean, he hasn't been doing this for three or four years, five or six years, but he did this from parents. 
our grandparents, our great grandparents, our great 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 grandparents, all the way down to Adam alayhi salam alayhi salam. From the beginning of mankind, for hundreds of thousands of years, Shaitan has been doing one thing. And imagine how much experience this person has. Imagine how good this person is at what he does. He has his down. He is the dog, he is the master at misguiding people like you and I. But the second thing that makes us extremely unique is our will, our desire, our fight that we have in us. And this willpower and this desire that you and I have, this is what makes us prepare to show up. That times he cannot even touch us. Why? Because when we want to do something, when the human beings want to do something, we do it until we are successful in that one thing. Now what is a recipe to success? Is a recipe to success a nice car, a big house, a fat bank balance? No. Wherever you want to, whenever you want to be successful, the recipe to success is Whatever is little, that's continuous, you are steadfast, you stick to it. You do it every single day, day in and day out, no matter how hard it is, but you stick to it. Let's say you want someone, somebody wants to be buff. You want to put on some muscle. Can they go to the gym just one day and you know, start benching four or five hundred pounds and start squatting and deadlifting one day only? No. But it takes a continuous, continuous routine. And the more that you stick to it, the better that you will get, and the better that you will get will, be, will, will lead to your success. Let's say that person that wants to lose weight. Can he stop eating one day and expect that you want to, when I step on the scale, I'm going to be 100 pounds lighter? No. But it's every time the person sees a cheeseburger, no, I'm okay. Every time the person sees a, you know, a, a pizza, I'm fine. Every time the person sees a soda can, a, 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 a candy bar, no, no, I'm okay. And sticking to it, when the temptations fight against you. Now, if you look at the temptation that Shaitan has on his side, these are not, you know, something easy. Shaitan has power. Something that, you know, you want to get real power that you feed off. Fame. The more a person, everyone wants to be famous, everyone wants to be known. People, you want people to know that you are, I am something. Money. Sex. These are all powers that Shaitan has on us. These are all things that are done. They're temptations. You have to fight or not. And you have to you know, persevere. When the odds are stacked up against you, who's stacking your odds? Shaitan is stacking your odds. And he knows how to stack those cards better than anybody else. And when he stacks those cards up against you, it is the one power that you and I have. Now, a human being's actual strength, well, they don't line his biceps or his triceps, but a human being's actual true strength, his true power, the power that is greater than anything you can imagine, is right here and right here. And it's mind and it's heart. The true strength that a human being has is his willpower. Because with this willpower, you and I, Now, this willpower, we can use it in both ways. Because Allah says in the Quran, Al Amaha Fujuraha wa Taqwa. When Allah SWT created mankind, he, he gave mankind both characteristics the ability to do good and the ability to do bad. And there are some people that use their perseverance and their willpower to do bad. And they will do bad, they will do wrong, they will drink and do drugs, and they will fall into the traps that she found, and they will make sure they do it day in and day out. But then there are people like us, that are Muslims, that want to do that fight of Shaitan, that will not back down, that will keep fighting against Shaitan until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enters into judgment. And this willpower is something that's extremely great. I'm not here to, you know, again, once again, to scare you about Shaitan. But I'm here to remind you and I who we are. I'm here to remind you and, you and I what makes us unique and what makes us great. And the thing that makes us great is our willpower, our 
perseverance, to fight against your God, and to better ourselves. To become successful in this world, as well as in here. To get the best of this world, and to get the best of you. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every single one of us. Jazakumullah khair once again. Inshallah we'll meet again next year if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us life. Wa'afat da'wah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah.